In today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure the Elfin EW11A. This small device acts as a bridge that converts Modbus RTU over RS-485 into Wi-Fi. By doing this, you can monitor and control Modbus devices wirelessly, without having to rely on long serial cables. I'll guide you step by step through the setup process so you can start using it quickly and reliably. In this tutorial, we'll be using a 24 volt power supply to power up the Elfin EW11A Modbus RTU to Wi-Fi adapter. The RS-485 terminals on the EW11A are connected to an energy monitoring device that communicates using Modbus RTU. In this example, we'll focus on reading just the voltage values from that device. The EW11A also comes with an Ethernet port, which can be used during the initial configuration or as an alternative wired connection. Once the setup is complete, the EW11A will convert the Modbus RTU signals into TCP IP packets and send the data over Wi-Fi, allowing us to monitor the Modbus device wirelessly without long serial cables. When using the device for the first time, you can perform a factory reset by pressing and holding the reset button for about 3 to 5 seconds. This will restore the unit to its default factory settings, and all previous configurations will be erased. Next, on your computer, turn on Wi-Fi and you'll see a network with the SSID name EW11-AE1C. Connect your computer to this network to begin the configuration process. Then, open a browser and go to the device's built-in web server at the IP address 10.10.100.254. If login is required, use admin as both the username and the password. At this point, you'll notice that the Wi-Fi status is still shown as disconnected. We'll now configure the device so it can connect to your local Wi-Fi network. Now let's move on to the configuration under system settings. In the WAN settings, I set the connection type to DHCP and enter the DNS address according to my local Wi-Fi network. Next, in the Wi-Fi settings, I set the Wi-Fi mode to AP plus STA. This allows the device to connect to the local Wi-Fi network while still keeping its own access point active, so I can continue configuring it if needed. For the STA SSID, enter the name of the Wi-Fi network you want the device to join, and then type in the password. Finally, click the submit button to save these settings. After configuring the Wi-Fi connection, restart the device by unplugging the Ethernet cable and then plugging it back in. This will reboot the device and apply the new settings. Next, on your computer, reconnect to the EW11 access point after the device has restarted. Then, on the system settings page, refresh the screen and you will now see that the Wi-Fi is connected. You can also see the IP address that the device has obtained from your network. Next, go to the serial port settings menu. Under basic settings, select the baud rate that matches the Modbus RTU device you're connecting to, in this case, the energy monitoring device. According to the manual, I'll set the baud rate to 9600. Then, at the bottom of the page, choose Modbus as the protocol, and click the submit button to save the settings. Next, go to the communication settings section. Under socket settings, I change the local port to 502, which is the standard port commonly used for Modbus communication. After that, click the submit button. At this point, we should now be able to communicate with the EW11 adapter over Wi-Fi using the Modbus protocol. Next, I want to read the values provided by the energy meter device. To know the Modbus address for each value, we need to refer to the device's manual book. For example, if I want to read the voltage value, the manual shows that its register address is given in hexadecimal. Next, to retrieve the values from Modbus, I'm using Node-RED to connect to the EW11 adapter through a Modbus node. This setup allows Node-RED to read the data registers over Wi-Fi, so we can easily display or process the readings directly from the energy meter. In the Modbus node, add a new server configuration. Enter the host field with the IP address of the EW11 adapter connected to your Wi-Fi network, for example 192.168.1.13, and set the port to 502. For the TCP type, select RTU buffered instead of TCP native, because in this case we are actually reading data from a Modbus RTU device. Next, to read the Modbus values from the energy meter, I use function code 3, which is red holding registers. 
For the register address, refer back to the manual to check the correct address. Since the manual lists the address in hexadecimal, I use a calculator to convert it to a decimal value, and then enter that decimal address in the Modbus node so we can read the voltage value. In this example, the register address shown in the manual is 4000 in hexadecimal. When converted to decimal, that becomes 16384. I enter that value in the address field, set the quantity to 8, and configure the poll rate to every 5 seconds. Next, to see the results coming from the Modbus node, I add a debug node, set it to display the complete message object, and then click deploy to apply the flow. We can now see that the Modbus status changes to connected, and then to active. Every 5 seconds, the flow reads the values from the registers, and we can see the results in the output of the debug node. This means we have successfully read data from the Modbus device. From here, you can take it further by displaying these values on a dashboard or storing them in a database for logging and analysis. With the EW11 Modbus RTU to Wi-Fi adapter, we can easily access data from an energy meter that communicates via Modbus RTU, without the need for long serial cables. This makes it much more flexible and convenient to monitor and manage Modbus devices over your wireless network. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, and subscribe to support this channel. See you in the next video.